Well, hey everybody. Uh, what we're going to do today is build a project that uh, is, is probably a couple years overdue for me. Um, this is a, a quilt box or a moisture box. Um, you can feed bees with it. You can use it to absorb uh, excess moisture in the hive in the wintertime. This is primarily a wintertime tool. Um, and then I, you have an emergency entrance and exit that they could use if they need to get out of the hive in the winter time and their bottom is uh, bottom, ent bottom entrance is not usable. So uh, we're gonna build this all with uh, standard hand tools. Um, just a regular saw. We're gonna put it together with, with nails. It's all butt jointed. And uh, you'll see that we when, we, when we staple anything on, this hardware cloth on, we just use a regular, uh, I think Stanley brand, Arrow brand, uh, hand stapler. So you don't need any special tools, uh, anything fancy to make this insulation box emergency feeder. Okay, so what you do here, you've got your pieces all cut out and uh, these are going to be the outside parts and we want to have some vent to the outside. So we're going to drill holes in them. We'll, we'll try to use this inch and a half uh, spade bit. And what I like to do is uh, just to, even though it is just for bees, just kind of give yourself a little bit of a of a line to follow. Drop your square. Um, so, so what we did there was we we set our square to two and three quarter. These are one by sixes. So you set. Oh, stripped out. Okay. Well, shoot, darn things broke. Anyhow, I guess we shouldn't drop it. So you'd set your square to two and three quarter, and then you would just follow that line. And then I will make uh, measurements for the tape that I looked for that was right in front of me. So our board's 18 and 3 eighths, so half of 18 and 3 eighths is 9 and 3 sixteenths. So we'll make that mark. There's your, your midpoint. And then we'll just measure an equal distance, whatever looks good. I think that three inches looks nice. So we'll mark three inches off from the midpoint. And we'll mark three inches off that midpoint. So that will tell us to drill a hole here and drill a hole here. So we'll do that for the outside boards and then uh, move into the next part. All right. So... Uh, got the, the holes drilled, um, inch and a half. If you don't have an inch and a half hole saw, that's fine. The biggest thing is to make, uh, make sure that you do have some type of opening on the two long ends of the box. So, um, if they're not inch and a half, that's fine. Use what you got. Um, if you don't have a, uh, spade bit, hole saw, um, jigsaw, handsaw, whatever you got, you can make it work. Um, one thing I'm going to do a little bit different than Nick did on his box was I'm going to put a entrance on the short end. So this is 16 and a quarter. This is the short end of the box. I'm going to put one hole here, probably three quarter or inch. I'll see what I got. Uh, so I just measured center, measured down. So on one end of the box only, I'm going to put an opening for the bees to get out. And, uh, so we'll go drill that. Um, and then we'll come back. So I keep a, an assortment of, of old cutoff pieces of, of my hardware cloth. So this is a, a cutoff piece of number eight. And a couple pieces of number two uh, cutoff. So that's one of the reasons why I, I say this stuff is you never know when you might just need a little piece. So these pieces that I had laying around were not long enough or much, but um, perfectly long enough for what we need to do. So we're gonna fix them on here with just a hand stapler. A, uh, what do you call it? A, like a construction stapler. If you've got a brad nailer or something, that's fine. Uh, the idea of this is a lot of people probably have access to these. They may not have access to a brad nailer or some other type of fastener. Push comes to shove, you could honestly, you could use duct tape, something. 
Um, the whole idea is find a way to do it, not a way that you can't do it. So what you end up there is, uh, this will be on the inside, and what that'll do is if the bees do uh, need to come out in the middle of the winter, they can come out through these, this hole in, number, in the number two cloth. So, um, but mice and, and other critters can't get in. So we'll do that on these, um, these side holes. We'll do the same thing you saw there. Uh, these are gonna be ventilation only. We don't want bees coming in here because it'll be a, it'll be a, a trap and you'll see why later. But so what we'll do is we'll trim this number eight and we'll cover up the uh, inch and a half holes with number eight hardware cloth. So this is what it'll look like uh, once you've got your your parts done and stable with the screens on them. Just kind of let you visualize it. Um, so you see the screens are on the inside. Probably doesn't matter, but that's how I chose to do it. Uh, what we're going to do for putting them together is we're going to take these nails. I think these nails. Yeah, we're going to take these nails and we're going to come in from the outside of the end board in. So uh, my idea with this project was to make it as simple as possible. Um, you can do this with a handsaw, uh, a table saw, a chop saw. There's no, there's no extra cuts. There's nothing needs a dado blade. This is all flat saw, flat cut, straight cut, <coughs> in holes. So um, assuming you don't have a brad nailer, that's why I use the, the hand stapler for these. Um, Again, assuming you don't have a brad nailer, that's why I'm not going to nail them in. Um, you could screw them, you could, you could use brads, you could use staples. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some glue and I'm going to put it on the, the uh, end grain here. And then I'm going to nail it from the outside in. So the whole idea of this is just making it simple and, and something that anyone can do with, with limited tools. So we have the, the outer case of the box made. Uh, next thing we'll do, oh, I squared the box too. Um, use my table saw, you can measure corner to corner. You can just eyeball it. You can put it on top of another box you know is square. Or you could use uh, your carpenter's square. So what we'll do now, these are gonna be, they're just solid boards. They're the length uh, 18 and 3 eighths. So I tried to, try to keep the cuts simple. So we made 14 at 18 and 3 eighths and two at 16 and a quarter. Everything's just butt jointed. Um, so what we'll do is we'll divide the inner part of the box into three equal parts. And um, well, let's see what we have here. It is about 14 and 11 sixteenths. <laughs> How's that gonna be three ways? Um, so anyhow, what we'll do there is uh, we'll take off the inch and a half. So for, anyway, I'll do the math, I'll come back, and I'll tell you what the numbers are gonna be on the middle. It's not totally critical that they're the same. Each chamber doesn't need to be the same. And honestly, probably what we'll do is, is we'll, we'll lose that fraction somewhere, maybe in the main center chamber, and then make the two opposites. Anyway, we'll do some math off camera and then we'll come back in and we'll tell you what they're going to be. Okay, we did some off-camera finger wiggling. And uh, <laughs> just kidding, I totally used calculator. What we ended up with is this is going to be four inches. Each of the outer uh, spaces will be four inches wide. And the inside will be, and that's, that's inside to inside. So four inches from here to here four inches from here to here. This will take up the difference. It was five and some change inches. So we had, a, we had a little bit of fun doing the math problem today. Did not see that one coming. So what we'll do now is we'll mark off four inches, make a line. Four inches, make a line. Same here. We'll just um, edge glue again, edge glue and nail, just like we did for the outer case. Okay, so we have the pieces cut out and this is the last step on the actual construction. So what we have here in the center, uh, remember we put the, the exit hole. Uh, this is number two hardware cloth, two holes to the inch. Bees can get up and through this. 
and this is the bottom, by the way. Um, what we'll have over here on either side is number eight hardware cloth, eight holes to the inch. Bees cannot get in through here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll fasten this down just like we did with the uh, vent. So we'll fasten down the, the number eight on along the sides and then in the middle we'll, we'll fasten the, the number eight to the middle. We'll put the number two over top of the number eight and then fasten the number two down it to the middle as well. Um, so we'll do that and then we'll finish up. Okay, so the finished product. And uh, in case you're wondering how this would work, what you do is this is your, your top box of your hive obviously frames and all that, but uh, you just put this on top. And then what you do is you'd, you'd leave the, you would take um, wood chips or something like that, and those would go in the outer two um, chambers. That would A, absorb the moisture, and B, uh, by virtue of the holes that you put in here, let the moisture come out of the hive during the winter time. In the middle, you could put um, some newspaper down and then put some dried sugar on that. That would do a few things. Um, first, that would also do the moisture trick. Um, that would allow the bees to come up uh, on warm days, um, maybe not warm enough to leave the hive, but warm enough to break cluster, then come up here and eat this uh, dried sugar that's absorbed the moisture. And also have the option to, to leave the hive if they need to. Say your bottom entrance is, is plugged up or covered over. Uh, they could they could get out through the top entrance here. So um, this was a fun project. Um, <laughs> I've got to start learning to listen to other people that know better. Uh, my cousin Nick and my friend Ryan um, both use these uh, this last winter. And guess what? Their bees came through the winter. Uh, guess who didn't use one and whose bees didn't come through the winter again. So, um, yeah, again, the sawdust in here and here, newspaper, and then dry sugar in here. Um, and then and you have a moisture remover, emergency entrance, and emergency feeder all in one. So this was a great fun, fun project. Um, all simple cuts, all square cuts, all hand assembled. Um, you know, if I do build more, I will probably use all the tools I have at my disposal um, because it was more challenging to hand nail and all that stuff. But um, hopefully this gives you confidence no matter the status of your workshop, if you have a Norm Abram pool of tools or if you have a saw, a hammer, and some nails, uh, you'll be good to go. So anyway, enjoyed making this project and I hope that you found it useful.